Welcome back to Nerd News. Today, I'm Matthew. In this episode, we have some new statues from a company who we've looked at quite a lot in the past with many different types of items, but we haven't ever seen them do statues yet. And I'm talking about the Noble Collection, and we looked at a lot of things from the Noble Collection in the past. We've looked at their really amazing tri-dimensional Star Trek chess set. We've seen their Jurassic Park chess set. We've seen a bunch of chess sets from them, basically. But we've also seen some bendy figs from them. We've seen Star Trek bendy figs. We've seen Harry Potter bendy figs. They do Lord of the Rings. They do all sorts of other licenses, all sorts of other franchises in the bendy fig format. And they also do prop replicas. We take a look at some Harry Potter ones. They've done some really cool ones for DC Comics. They've done some from Lord of the Rings. So they've done a lot of different things. But one thing we haven't quite seen a lot from them yet has been statues. For the most part, any of their statues have tended to be quite large or very expensive, but this time around, they've now made something for the consumer in mind. So what we're talking about today is some Jurassic Park statues from the Noble Collection. This is awkward to hold it like this. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, oh, they're falling. Okay, let's cut. Now, the Noble Collection is no stranger to the Jurassic Park franchise. They did the Jurassic Park chess set, as we already mentioned, and they have a few other items here and there, but doing statues in this size, that is a little bit new to them. So I'm really excited to take a look at these things, so let's just real quick talk about this packaging and then let's get these guys out of there. And the boxes are really nice and very simple. They're a little bit bigger than a Funko Pop box, definitely a lot bigger actually because you couldn't put them in the same protector case if you were someone that uses those, but they're not too far off from it at the very least. And what you get is a very large, essentially panoramic window because you can see into all three windows on the front and on the sides, take a look at everything the statue has. And these statues all have a lot of details. And the statues that are in this very first series, by the way, are the Dilophosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and those clever girls, the Velociraptors. The packages have some elements of some Jurassic Park theme park designs, if you will. There's little bits of grass and there's a logo on it. So they almost kind of look like they're actually part of a museum, which is a really cool little effect to have. And best of all, much like some other companies we've seen and who we talk about a lot on this channel here, the Noble Collection also has a handy dandy sunroof for their statues. The back of the packaging is pretty sparse and also to the point. You basically get an image of what you just saw through the front already, along with some information about how this piece operates, which is really cool. We're going to get to that in one moment, because I want to save that for a big, big grand reveal. So with that said, let's go ahead and bust these Noble Collection Jurassic Park statues out of their packaging and take a closer look at them from all angles. All right, here we go. We got our Noble Collection Jurassic Park statues out of the packaging here. So I'm going to do these one at a time, and I'm going to start with the Dilophosaurus here, but I do want to make a quick note here before I go too deep into this. Uh, I want to say that these guys in the package, fairly easy to come out, just I will say, that the tape, there's one piece of tape that's on the back of the box. That's gonna be the one that you have to cut to open them. Just be a little bit gentle because it is pretty tight on the initial release of the statue here, uh, on the initial release trying to get this out of there. Uh, but once you get it out, it should move just fine. So that's good news. So, all right, let's get into the real nitty gritty now. Let's start talking about our Dilophosaurus here, our first entry in this collection. And, uh, you know, I gotta say, I'm really impressed by these already. You know, like these are consumer grade statues. They're meant to be affordable, but also meant to still look like museum grade stuff. And they're doing it. I mean, this is hefty. And I know I can't really tell you about the weight here, but this is a good weight. Uh, you know, this is not gonna be knocking over or falling down that easily. I mean, it's not like it weighs a ton, but it feels very solid. It feels very sturdy. It feels high quality. And I mean, we're still even taking this thing completely out of the packaging because this is just another part that it comes with. I mean, this is just another really cool little extra function that this has here. Um, but yeah, it's a nice detail. I mean, look at this great Jurassic Park logo over here. And when you flip this guy over on the top two, you see the logo and this, this is just a really cool piece too. So they really just focus on designing as much as they could of these pieces. And that's, that's really nice. I appreciate the fact they went that extra mile to make even this inner packaging look really exciting and interesting. So, all right, let's go ahead, see if we can get this lid off. And all right, that comes off really easily. There we go. So we have our lid. So I'm gonna move that over to the side for now. So you can see again, another piece of plastic is in here to protect our Dilophosaurus. And so there you go. So this is a point I didn't mention yet in the, video, in the uh, earlier part of this video. But uh, yeah, all these guys are actually removable from their bases. And this Dilophosaurus, he has a little twisty tie here. So I'm just gonna deal with that real quick and I'll get back to this review. All right, so I got my Dilophosaurus free finally. One last little thing there. He does have a little piece of tape on his face, which I think uh, is actually a really smart thing that Noble Collection did here. This is, I imagine, part of their production process. So they probably put that tape there in case there was any wet paint when it was uh, being put together still. Because I've actually looked at some action figures on this channel, even some of their statues, some plastic statues, where I'll get a little bit of like plastic paint on the inside of the box. And taping it up is a way to prevent that from happening, or even just prevent it from melting onto the packaging. So, okay, point being, now let's take a good look at this Dilophosaurus here. Now he's completely free and it's really nice that he actually comes out of the space, by the way. I'm gonna put him back in just to see how easy it goes, okay. Sure, I don't have to finish my sentence before I put them back in there. That's fine. 
Um, so yeah, comes right in and out. That's really nice. I don't know if it's going to be interchangeable among other statues. I doubt it will be with their bases. They're probably all going to be unique to each other. But I mean, he's fitting in there just fine. No problems at all. And I will take him out real quick just to talk a little more about this base here. It's a really nice base too. I mean, this is it's pretty decent. You know, again, keep in mind what the price point is for these statues. These are not super expensive, but you are getting some nice variation in colors here. Uh, and likewise with our Dilophosaurus, I mean, the sculpting is great. I mean, we looked at some of their dinosaurs not that long ago when we reviewed the Jurassic Park chess set that Noble Collection did, and we were impressed by the amount of detail in those little dudes. Now they're working with a bigger size here, and it looks just as good, if not a little bit better. And more so it's better because the paint is just outrageous on these guys. I mean, there's a lot of paint detail on these figures here. You're getting all sorts of colors in this Dilophosaurus, uh, even on the back. I hope you guys can see it there. In fact, I'll take him out of the base so I can make sure you see it. Even on his little wingspan here, you've got those little dots, those little circles, the, the color and the pattern on his back section. Even his feet are, are multiple tones. I mean, there's a lot of, of excellent detail work in this little statue here. So yeah, that's looking great. I mean, even his teeth, let's see. Yeah, they're all like individually sculpted for the most part, all individually painted. I mean, damn, this is a good looking Dilophosaurus statue. And let's go ahead right now and take a look at our Velociraptors. So again, they come the exact same way as the Dilophosaurus, and this is gonna be the exact same way as the T-Rex. They're gonna be inside this little encasement here. We'll just go ahead, pop that off very easily. It comes off so gently. And by the way, hopefully you guys can see this too, let's move side by side. On the back of each of these is a little backdrop for them in the case of this Velociraptor. And the Dilophosaurus had it also, and so does the T-Rex. So if you leave them in there, you're basically getting a backdrop. If you take them out, which you can, you don't have that anymore. So just something to be aware of. And much like our Dilophosaurus, the Raptors also have a little bit of plastic behind them. Uh, so let's see, it looks like it looks, might be actually just one piece of plastic connected to the two of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. We'll take a better look at these guys too. And voila, our Raptors are now loose. We can get a better look at these two guys here right now. This is, <laughs> this might be my favorite set. I know we haven't looked at the other one yet. We haven't looked at our T-Rex yet, but this one's just really cool. <laughs> this one's just also kind of cute too. So as far as dinosaurs coming out of their bases, in this case, it's gonna be this raptor that can come out and he fits right back in there. That's how this guy looks from the top angle also. Fits right in there. This raptor, I don't think he comes out. It looks like this one, there might be she in this case. I think this raptor stays in there. So unfortunately that's how they're gonna look, but let's just get a good look at their faces also. Cause these are some really good dinosaur faces as well. I mean, yeah. This is just a really great detail, you guys. Noble Collection does not skimp out when it comes to details. These are no exception to the rule. It's not just the faces too. I mean, look at the, the bodies on them and the paint that goes onto these, the paint application, all that detail on them. This is very solid. This is a very solid pair of Raptors. And even just the way this like kitchen area looks too, it's pretty darn good looking. I mean, there's a lot of good detail in here. Uh, you know, the tile floor is good enough, but too, there's like pots and pans, there's the ladle on it. Even, you know, the pots and pans on this top part over here, along with Nice little weaved baskets. I mean, a lot of detail. Even over here, there's like all these different utensils. Like they didn't need to add that. Like this is what I'm talking about. They didn't need to add all these little ladles and all those little details like that, but they did. For whatever reason, they decided, hey, these ladles and these forks and all this stuff, this little strainer, yeah, they're all super important details. We need to include them and they did. And all that attention to detail really pays off because it makes for a very nice looking statue. This one's no complaints. This one's a lot of fun too. I, I just like the attitude and the energy in this piece here. This is a good, good looking pair of raptors here. And our last piece is the T-Rex. Of course, we've saved the mighty T-Rex for last. This is one of those also really iconic moments in the film where the T-Rex pops up and bursts through the place. And sure, let's just lift the whole T-Rex up, why don't we? So he is attached also really tightly in there. Uh, let's see. This might take a little bit of muscle to get him out of there. Give me one second. So there you go, T-Rex is out now. He is very much attached to it though. And yeah, again, here is, you get to have that backdrop behind him. Doesn't come with the rest of the cell, just part of that little plastic glass there. But let's deal with this now. So our T-Rex, he's so mighty, he's so powerful. He has two twisty ties. So I'm gonna deal with that off camera and come right back. I'll take a better look at this T-Rex. All right, got him out of there. And by the way, yes, the T-Rex, as well as the Raptors did have also those little things covering their face and their teeth. So there you guys go. So yeah, let's just get a look at, the, at this T-Rex, I think, first before I actually put him on that base because he kind of just deserves to have his own solo moment to shine. And this T-Rex just looks just as good as the other ones. And talk about attention to detail. He even has like the scratch marks on him over here from other dinosaur battles that he's been in. Uh, just nice paint job. The skin has a really nice feel to it. Like there's actually texture even to the skin. This isn't just straight up, you know, whatever, easy, done, easy, whatever, fix. No, there's actually like textures on his skin so that it feels 
a little bit more leathery. It feels a little bit more realistic. That's that's a great detail. I was not expecting to feel that actually at all. Uh, more little scars there, which have a little bit of a different paint style too, so it looks like they're actually bleeding a little bit. They're more bright and raw. We have a little bit on his underbelly too, some toning there. So, man, and just, just the T-Rex head too. I mean, that, that's just obviously, it goes without saying how good that looks. Like, that's, that's pretty much perfect. Let's go ahead and put him on our base so the way he was meant to be put on there. Snaps right on into place, and he does stay there. So whatever happened, he just got stuck because of the plastic that was protecting him. But yeah, he, here's how he looks with the Jurassic Park banner falling down next to him. Like, what an iconic moment, what an iconic statue. I mean, that's a great choice. They, they chose an excellent one to do with that here. So yeah, again, just great detail, wonderful job in the base. Different tones and colors in the base too. Look, look at that. <laughs> Got some little fossils on it too. This is great stuff, you guys. This is really great. You know, I'm hoping a lot of Jurassic Park collectors are gonna be out there today watching this video and they're gonna see these because if they're missing out on these, man, they are missing out in a big, big way. So let me give you guys my final thoughts on all these pieces as I give you one last glimpse of them one more time in rotations. Noble Collection is one of those toy companies that I feel like has still gone a little bit under the radar. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you just found out. So Noble Collection, like we mentioned earlier, they do all sorts of different things here, and now they're getting into this area, and I think they're going to do very well here as long as more folks can find out about their products. These statues are excellent. I mean, you know, we do a lot of stuff with Diamond Select on this channel. We look at a lot of $50, $60 PVC pieces. These are a fraction of that price. I think these are $20 or $30. Pretty sure they're closer to $20 or within that range of between $20 to $30. And you know, for that price, that's an amazing, amazing deal. They are worth the money, regardless of what the price is. They are worth the money. The detail is excellent. The paint job is amazing for the size you're getting here. The sculpts are all just out of this world. Fantastic, stellar sculpting, great paint job. All this little attention to detail in the dinosaurs and the heads, the teeth, the way their skin feels, the way their, their tails move, the energy of the way the tails move, just like all these great little details just make them feel very real, which is awesome to have. Plus the fact that they're all in these different diorama sets keeps them very grounded. And no, unfortunately you cannot mix and match the diorama pieces as we mentioned, they're kind of all living in that one spot. The dinosaurs don't come completely out of those parts, unfortunately, but you can take them out of there and put them to other places. And that part is still really cool. I mean, how many statues can you say you can actually take the character out of them and move them somewhere else? You really can't do that with any other statues in the market out there. So that again is another big bonus to these pieces. Now for any Jurassic Park toy collectors out there, because I know there's a lot of you out there, can you take these toys and mix them into the Hammond collection coming out right now from Mattel? The answer is a definite no. I mean, unfortunately of the bunch here, the T-Rex, clearly you cannot mix him with any other different toy lines out there. Uh, the Raptors, maybe you can get away with if you were pretending they were baby Raptors. I think that one actually will be closest to the Hammond collection size. you probably get away with those, but again, they'd be a little bit tiny. Uh, the Dilophosaurus, me might be the one that actually is the closest to the Hammond collection size, so that kind of three and three quarter inch scale. So the Dilophosaurus, you could try and fit him into that scale, and he probably would look not too bad next to those dinosaurs. But really, th these pieces are not meant to be supplemental to that collection. They're meant to stand on their own, and they absolutely do stand on their own hind legs because, hey, they're all clever girls today. So these Noble Collection Jurassic Park pieces, I think, are definite, definite must-haves for Jurassic Park collectors out there. Do not miss these. These are so good, you guys. Even if you don't like Jurassic Park, if you just and even if you aren't collecting those lines, if you just like good dinosaur statues, good dinosaur toys, or just like the Jurassic Park movie, you want something really nice but affordable to display with your DVDs or whatever else you got in your collection, yeah, these are the ones to get. Like, this is excellent. This is just perfect pricing, perfect size, amazing amount of detail. This, this is really a bargain for what you're getting here. And that's the thing we've said with, I think, all the stuff from Noble Collection is like, you know, you get what you pay for with a lot of companies. With Noble Collection, you get more than what you paid for. And this is a great example of that. So if you wanna pick up these Jurassic Park statues from Noble Collection, go ahead and check out our Amazon affiliate links and other links in the description for this video below. Using those links helps out this channel at no extra cost to you. And I really think these are worth putting into your collection. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. And remember, life always finds a way.